Hey, Share Friends, it's Lisa here today. Thanks for joining me for today's Learning From Home activity. I'm going to read a short story, talk about some character traits, and show you a fun activity that we can do together at the end. Let's get comfy and begin. Character Kids Save the Day Written by Kristen Ziofalo and illustrated by Brandon Starr The sun is up, a new school day is near, and look! The character kids are all here. Their special powers are used for good, for doing the things that every kid should. So come along as we meet each one. We'll learn what they do and have some fun. Brandy is cooperative, a very big word. It means sharing with friends and waiting your turn. Cooperative kids work together as one, helping each other so there's more time for fun. When Brandy sees kids who just can't agree, who fight over toys and cry, me, 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 she races to the rescue to help them share. Let's take turns. That's the way that is fair. Scooter is kind. So what does he do? He is friendly to people and animals too. Kindness means showing others you care. When a friend needs your help, you're always there. When Scooter sees someone who's feeling left out, he saves the day with a friendly shout. Hey, come on over and join the fun. We can play together with everyone. Alex is brave, just like a lion. If he doesn't succeed, he keeps on trying. He faces his fears, both big and small. He tries new things and gives it his all. When Alex sees someone who's feeling afraid, he swoops right in and comes to his aid. Take a deep breath and push on through it. Believe in yourself and you can do it. Ricky is honest and that's special indeed. To earn people's trust is something you need. When you tell the truth, people can count on you. It may not be easy, but it's the right thing to do. When Ricky sees kids saying something untrue, telling little white lies and some big ones too, he says, never fear, being honest is best. Just say you are sorry and get it off your chest. Being responsible, that's Keisha's power. Doing her part every minute and hour. Responsible people always do their chores, take care of themselves and so much more. When Keisha sees people not doing their part, leaving trash on the ground or toys in the yard, she soars in and says, this is your job to do. Don't wait for someone to do it for you. There's one more hero to tell you about. I'll give you a clue. Can you figure it out? This person is responsible and kind each day. Cooperative too and honest and brave. Look in the mirror. And you will guess who? Of course that special hero is you. So think to yourself as you start each day, what super things will I do today? The end. Wow, that was a fun story. What did you guys think? Let's take a minute and talk about the special superpowers that our friends in the story had. Cooperative, working together and helping each other out. Kind showing others that you care, brave, facing fears, trying new things, and giving it your all, even if you might be scared, honest, telling the truth lets other people know that they can trust you, responsible, taking care of yourself and your belongings. Can you think of any superhero powers that you would like to have? What about being able to spin a web or stream water or being able to be invisible? are respectful at all times. These are some great superhero powers that all of us could enjoy having. So let's move on to our craft. Go ahead and grab some paper, crayons or markers, some scissors, some tape, and an old blanket or towel. You're gonna start with your paper and markers or crayons, and you're gonna draw a picture of yourself with a superhero power or your superhero emblem. When you're all done, you're gonna cut it out, just like I have done. Here's me, 
and my superhero power is to be caring. I want to be able to know when my friends and family need to be cared for without them even having to tell me. So here I am taking some flowers to my friend that's not feeling too well. Now that I've cut it out, I'm going to grab some tape. I'm going to tape it onto my blanket. And just like that, I have a cape. So go ahead and make yours. When you're all done, I can't wait to see what you guys have come up with. So have an adult or older brother or sister snap a picture, post it on Instagram or Facebook, and hashtag it Character Kid Capes. Thanks for joining me. Bye. Keep watching our Learning at Home videos. Plus, visit lakeshorelearning.com for thousands of free resources.